There's just no excuse for this. All the bears in our family are good at berry gathering. I don't care if there was a wolf in the woods. This is the third note I've had from your teacher this month. What's with you? I'll tell you what's with her. She's lazy. She just sits around all day fishing and playing those stupid games. It's no wonder she doesn't have any friends. She's not lazy. She's stupid. Just like all the bears on your side of the family. Stupid and too selfish to think of anybody but herself. Just like our side of the family. Look who's talking. Your brother Jimmy doesn't have the brains enough to hibernate through the winter. Yours is the stupid side of the family. I don't know why I put up with any of you. Sometimes I wish you all would just get out of here. Please don't shout. You're going to wake Coco and scare her. Wow, did you hear that? They sure sound mad. You can say that again. I'm sure glad I don't live there. What do you want? Sounds like your folks are pretty mad. No more than usual. You mean they're always like that? Just when Dad's drinking, which is every night. Well, well, listen. We're looking for the golden spiral of success, and it's supposed to be in the forest of confusion. But what do you want from me? I don't have your stupid spiral, and I don't know where any old forest of confusion is. Kelly's just trying to tell you that we're here on a mission, and we're not here to bother you. Well, you are bothering me, so why don't you just go on your stupid mission and leave me alone? Well, if that's the way you want it, then we will go on our mission. Come on, guys. Yes, yes. We need some help, huh? Do you think you can give that special call you have to Marlena? Yes, yes! sent for me. A friend? Yes, yes. Kelly, everyone needs a friend. I'm not saying you should let people treat you badly, but maybe you should give her another chance. If she still acts mean, then yes, maybe you should stay away. But remember, everyone is lovable, even those who don't act like it. Even that bear? Yes. Now, there's a lot about each of us to like, but sometimes it takes good eyes and a good heart to find it. She's a smart lady. Not only smart, but very wise. Yes, yes! You know, I kind of feel bad about leaving the bear that way now. Yeah, maybe we should give her another chance. I mean, she's just been through a hard time with her folks, and we really didn't tell her what we were doing. Look, the thank you'll do our millet's getting bright. That means you've got a bright idea, Kelly. What is it? Well, I was just thinking, why don't we make friends with the bear and invite her along? Ooh, that's a splendid idea, Kelly. But she doesn't love us. Maybe that's because she doesn't like herself very much. Kelly's right. If we found things about her that we liked, maybe she'd like herself more and be nicer. Oh, you kids are learning fast. Yes, yes. You know, like I always say, it doesn't hurt to ask. I... I don't have your spiral. I don't mean that. Well, we were wondering, well, we're looking for the golden spiral of success because it's going to give us clues so we can free King Arthur's magic horses. Zor has locked them up in a mountain cave, and the people are losing hope, and there's no future for the kingdom without these magic horses. And, well, my name's Kelly, and what's yours? Well, my parents call me Teodora, but I hate it. I call me Ted. Ted Bear, sounds good. Uh, well, we were wondering if you would like to come with us on our mission. You want me to come with you? Yes, we all agreed, but the mission isn't easy. In fact, it's sometimes quite difficult. But we know that if we stick with it, we all can succeed. But I'm not good at things that are hard. I can't even pick berries as good as the other bears. All it takes to get better at things is practice and confidence. Now, you might have had the practice, but you didn't have the confidence. How can I have confidence?
confidence when I've never been good at anything. And nobody likes me. My parents don't even like me. Can you excuse us for one minute? Come on, guys. This is going to be tougher than I thought. Let's put the dial on the amulet to clear bright thinking and see what we come up with. I think I've got an idea. What if we send yes, yes to talk to the children in the class? Maybe they can think of things about Ted that we can like. Remember, Melina said that everybody has things about them that are lovable. And sometimes it takes a good heart and good eyes to find them. I think the kids in the class have good hearts and good eyes. Will you help us?